In this video, I'm going to show you how to make money online using a special website, which is called Predis AI. Now, one of the top paying jobs available online right now is that of a social media manager, especially one who focuses on content creation. Basically, what they do is that they help businesses to grow online by creating content for them and managing that content on multiple different social media platforms. Now, before you start panicking and saying, but Marshall, I don't know how to create content and I've never worked as a social media manager. Through the use of AI, you'll be able to create content in seconds. You don't need to have previous working experience as a social media manager. You don't need video editing skills. You don't need graphic design skills. But simply, as long as you have got access to a computer and the internet, you'll be able to do this. Now, quickly, let me show you how much people online are actually making money through this process. If you go to Upwork.com, you'll be able to see how much different social Social media managers are actually earning like this guy he's from peru and as you can see he's charging about 15 dollars an hour but in total he has made about 400 000 us dollars from working as a social media content creation expert or person here's another lady as you can see she's from bangladesh and she has earned over 10 000 us dollars working in content creation working with platforms like instagram and just creating reels and then here's another lady again who has earned over 30 000 dollars working as a social media manager. And you can see the platform she does. She does Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. Now, like I said earlier on, you don't need previous experience to do this, but using AI, you'll be able to get it done. And I want to show you how in this video. So this is Predis AI. And as you can see, it's your social media co-pilot that will help you to generate AI content. It's going to be helping you to create videos, to be helping you to create uh, images and also text that you can use on social media platforms. Now you can use it on your desktop, you can use it on your MacBook, you can use it on your phone, both Android and Apple. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video for you to just click and be able to download immediately and you can start using it. But basically it's going to be allowing you to create content for all your different platforms. And as you can see, it integrates with all these different social media platforms, meaning that from within the software, you'll be able to create content for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, et cetera, et cetera and also be able to send posts and manage your posts all from within the software. So through Predis AI, you don't have to worry about opening all your multiple social media platforms. You'll be able to manage all of them in one software. Now click that link to the description. It will bring you to a page like this. And then where you can actually try the software for free. And then you're just going to come here, enter your email address, enter your password, and just simply register for your free account. Now, once you're registered, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. And I'm just going to explain what these different features are on the taskbar to your left. First thing you notice the option at the top, which says create new. You can click on that. And then it's going to ask you what exactly do you want to create? For example, text to post, e-com product post, blog to post, script to post, and many other options. I'm just going to click on text to post for now. Then it's going to ask me what exactly is your post about? And I've just typed in something there, how to create and sell digital products. And then for the post format, I'm just going to put it on video because I want to make an Instagram reel. And then post design, I want it to be short. And then I can choose how many variants I want. For now, I'm just going to say two variants. And then it's asked me for media for post do i want to actually use free videos content that it can give me or i want to upload content from my computer if i want to use stuff from my computer i just click here it says choose media and then i can then upload content from my computer here but for now i'm just going to leave it on ai pick then there's an option here for more settings if i click on that i get to choose caption length i'm just going to leave it on medium brand palette means your branding that you want to use. I'll show you how to set that up later on. And then you can choose your input and output language. I'm just going to leave it on English as you see and click on generate. Next, as you can see, it says that generating your post is going to take a few seconds for it to do this. So just give it some time. And then as you can see, it's done creating these two different videos and they now pop up as you can see to the left here. They are now inside my content library. So your content library is going to be where you will see all the content that you have created. Now to actually preview the content, I can click here, it says click to view caption. And then there's a play button that I can play on here. And also I can read through the suggested caption that it has created for me. So for now, I'm just going to click on play. And as you can see, the video is playing. There are different videos that are showing up. And there's these words that appear at the bottom. So as you can see, it's already created this for me. There's an option at the top. 
for me to put my logo if I want. And this basically just took me less than a minute. Content was created for me without me having to do anything at all. There's also the caption that I can just read through here. And if I like it, I will use it. But if I want to make changes, I'm going to click here where it says edit. I can click on edit and then it's going to allow me to come in here into the editor. And then I can come and change the videos. If I don't like the videos, I can change the background colors. I don't like them. For example, here it's gray. If I want to change it, I can just click on the gray there and then find a different color. But like maybe I want it to be blue. As you can see, it's changed. If I want to change here where it says your logo, I can click on the logo. I can just delete that one and then I can drag and drop my logo into this section. Or if I don't want to put a logo at all, I'll just click on that again and then I'll just click on delete there. Then I don't need to have a logo there. If I want to change the video content, I'll just click on the video there. I'll come to the left here where there's the media option and click on media. Then I'll click on videos and then I can simply use the AI picked videos or I can click on search and I can search for a video based on what I want it to be about. And then the videos will pop up here and I can easily use them. Let's just say, for example, I want to use this one of the mountain. I will then click on that mountain. And as you can see, it now appears here. If I don't want to have a background at the back, I can actually just drag the video to cover the whole section of the video area, just like that. Now, let me tell you, this video editor is super simple and easy to use. I just don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just going to move on to the next thing for now. But within a few minutes, you'll be able to edit amazing, beautiful videos. And then once you're done with your video, you can just simply click here where it says export as a video, meaning that you can export it to your computer, you can export it to your phone. Or you can click on the share option, which will then allow you to share it to your different social media platforms, which I'll show you shortly how to actually connect and set up. But as you can see here, there are different options that are appearing. They send for review, meaning that I can send it to my client before I post it. I can actually schedule it or I can publish right now to all the different platforms that I would have set up. Now, let's say that maybe you've created multiple posts and then you want to set them up so that they get posted automatically without you having to do anything. That's what you'll be able to do through this next feature here, which is called the content calendar. On the content calendar, you can just simply choose a day. For example, today is Wednesday, but then I can say on Thursday, maybe at 2 p.m. I can just click on that section and then it's going to show me the videos that I've already created. I can click on the video that I want to be posted at that time. Then it's going to ask me which platforms do I want to post on. I'll choose the, my, the, from the platforms that I would have set up. And then I just simply click on schedule. And then it's automatically going to make posts on my behalf on my social media platforms. Now, when you click here where it says brand and social media accounts, this is where you can actually come and set up your branding. For example, the branding that I normally use in my business is blue and gray. That's why it's appearing like this. But if I want to change it, I can just simply click there and then change a color. I can either move this color picker option here or I can use the colors that I hear at the bottom to choose whatever colors I want to be for my brand. And then I'm just gonna save that. I also can come in here and change like the fonts. I can change my brand name. I can change my social media handles. I can put my website and my and my hashtags that I, that I mainly like to use. Then next is going to be the social media platforms. And this is where you can come and connect all your social media platforms. So you can do your Instagram, you can do your Facebook, your LinkedIn, Google My Business, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, you name it. You simply link it by, for example, if I come here where there's an option to add, I click on add, click on link Instagram. It's going to open up this other tab where it's going to ask for your permission to actually link your account. You just simply accept and say yes, or you might need to log in, but you're just basically giving Predis AI approval to actually post on your behalf. Then the next great feature that you also will be interested in is this one, which is competitor analysis. Competitor analysis allows you to actually monitor people who you want to create content like. For example, there are other content creators who are in the same niche and industry as I am that I like to get ideas from. I also like to see like uh, what are they promoting lately. I can come here and click on manage competitors and then I can enter the, for example, Instagram handles and the Facebook links to those competitors. And then I'll be able to see them in my dashboard and, mo and monitor the type of content that they're creating. It also helps me to know like, okay, these are the type of content that is trending at the moment and I can copy ideas from them. You are going to get a content analysis, for example, how much content they distribute often, how much engagement they're actually getting, what type of posts they're making. You'll be able to see content themes. You'll be able to monitor hashtags that they're actually using, how well their posts are performing. It's basically a great tool for you to monitor your competitors all in one place. And then there's the Idea Lab, which is a great place for you to come and generate ideas for your content. And I like the fact that it actually gives you examples. Like here at the top, write three social media post ideas for my shoe brand. 
if that's what I want to do, I'll just click on it. It's going to appear right here at the bottom. This is where you're actually meant to write your commands. Just by me clicking on this, it's going to then come up with ideas for me, telling me that, okay, these are three different types of posts. For example, post idea number one, step into style with our latest collection from Chick Heels to Comfy Sneakers. There's something for everyone. Don't miss out on the hottest trends of the season shop now, right? If you like the idea, you then can click here where it says create post using this. And then it brings you back to where we started at the top, where it asked you what type of post was this. So if you want it to be a text to post, that's going to be the first one here. If you want to create um, your blog post, business to post, whatever you want to do, it's going to be here. But it, like I showed you in the first place, text to post, I get to choose again whether I want it to be a video, or an image, or a carousel, short form, how many variations I want, and then I'll just click on generate. Now, personally, I think the Idea Lab is one of the most essential tools because one of the challenges you will face as a content creator is what content should you actually create? Sometimes you get stuck and you don't know how and you don't have ideas of what content you should be making. But this will just help you generate ideas at the touch of a button. So now that you've seen that this tool can actually help you to create, the next question is how do I start making money from it? So the next thing that you'd need to do is that you'd need to start finding clients, people or people that actually need help with their content creation. So there are three ways that you can actually approach this. The first one, they like in the first examples that I show you, you can create your own account on freelance platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, or, or Fiverr.com. You can watch a couple of videos on YouTube about how to create your own profile on these platforms, creating a platform that's SEO optimized and one that will attract customers. Once you have that platform set up there, people from around the world can actually start hiring you to create content for them. Now, though these platforms are available for anyone to sign up for them, sometimes it can get a bit slow because there's lots of competition on those platforms. So I'd recommend that you also implement the second option, which is for you to start reaching out to businesses to offer to help them with social media. An example of this is that you can identify local businesses around you that are struggling with their social media. You can just simply approach them and then give them an offer and say that, okay, hey, I can manage your social media and it'll be good for you to just create a few samples of what you can do for them. For example, what I would do is, let's say maybe I want to work with hair salons that are in my city or in my area. I'll simply go to Google and type in and say hair salons near me. And then if you just click on the option here to the top of maps, it's going to give you a map of different hair salons that are in your location. And all you just simply need to do is just click on like, for example, this first one. I'm able to see their website if they've got a website or I'm able to get directions to their offices so that I can actually walk in there, talk to them and show them what I want to do. Or I can just simply call them on their phone number. Now, as you can see, I found this one here that has got their website actually showing there. I can just click on their website. In this case, it takes me to their Facebook page. I can then send them a message here on their Facebook page. Hey, I'm a content creator. I can help you to create content for your business. The third and best way to actually get your own clients is by actually becoming a content creator yourself. You're saying that you want to create content for other businesses. The best way to prove that you actually know what you're doing is by doing it for yourself. So you can use Predis AI to help you generate ideas of what content do you need to create that will attract other people that need content creators, just like you to create content for themselves. So you're going to be creating, whether it's going to be on Instagram, YouTube, um, TikTok, you name it, you're going to be just sharing content that will attract people who need help with content creation. You can easily say to people that I will do content creation for you when you show them that you have been doing it for yourself. So right now you might be starting off on zero, but then with time, as you keep posting content consistently, you start getting views, you start getting people to uh, see your content, like your comment, your content, comment and, and reach out to you to actually ask you to help them with their own personal content. Now, as you are watching this video on YouTube right now or whichever other platform, once upon a time, I started off with zero. Most people look at me and they're like, no, but you are a content creator. You've, you've got the views and the, and the subscribers, so it's easy for you to sell these services. But once upon a time, I had zero subscribers and I just made the decision to become a content creator, to start sharing content. And then that's what brought the clients, that's what brought uh, the subscribers and all the different people who watch my actual content. So don't be shy. Don't be scared to actually start from zero. You can start today and with Pretis AI, it's a great tool that will help you to accelerate the whole process. Now, if you've got any questions that you want me to answer, just make sure that you leave them, drop them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you on that. If you haven't yet done so, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, because on this channel, we share content about how to make money online. 
So it'd be good for you to become a subscriber so that whenever I drop my next video, you are going to be notified. Also, please show your support for this video just by hitting the like button. It helps so that more and more people can be exposed to this content. You might also be interested in checking out this video next right here, which will show you different ways of earning income online. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.